Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. In this one, I'm just going to be sketching some dinosaurs. So I've literally just got back from watching the new Jurassic Park movie, or the Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm a big Jurassic Park fan, but I did have mixed feelings about this new one. So whilst I was in the mood and inspired a little bit to draw dinosaurs, I thought I would record this. Um, I'm just working from some screenshots I found on Google. Before we get any further, if you do like this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And of course, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and switch notifications on for future videos. As well as that, I will put links to my social media in the description box below, just in case you want to see these finished or check out any more of my sketches and doodles. So I'm going to be drawing three dinosaurs in this video, and I'm starting with a T-Rex. Hopefully you can tell that already. I would say online that there's probably more reference of T-Rex uh, dinosaurs than there is for other species. So dinosaurs are something I always want to learn how to draw quite well. I think it'd be a really cool thing to be able to draw, but I do think that the reference is a little bit lacking when compared to like other subjects, especially accurate reference for obvious reasons. But the ones that I'm drawing today, I just searched on Bing or Google for Jurassic World Dominion and just saved a few images and decided to work from those. I do actually have a couple of other videos drawing dinosaurs, specifically drawing a T-Rex, so I will put links to those in the description box below and on screen. But I think I've got one where I sort of deconstruct and show you step by step how to draw the head from a side profile. And then I've got another where I use an app. It's a free app where you can basically pose a dinosaur. I use the T-Rex model and that was actually really cool. So I'd definitely check those out if you're interested in learning how to draw dinosaurs. Unfortunately, I don't have enough knowledge when it comes to drawing dinosaurs to teach it in depth. But I really hope it's something I can do in the future. And what we're using today is Photoshop CC, but basically any version of Photoshop. And it doesn't really matter what brush you use, as we all know. But the one that I'm using is my custom made sketch brush. So again, I will put a link to that in the description box below if you want to learn how to make that brush. It's really easy to make. Alternatively, for those who want to show their support to the channel, you can buy it on my website for like a pound or two. So again, I'll put links to that. I use this brush pretty much for everything and it's just intended as a sketch pencil, but obviously for working digitally. This second dinosaur that I'm drawing is one that I don't actually know how to pronounce. I think it's a Giganatosaurus but don't quote me on how to pronounce it. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but in case you haven't seen it, there are this type of dinosaur in the movie. There's actually quite a few ones that are not in the others. Some really cool looking ones as well. So I'd love to draw more in the future. I will say though, working from movie screenshots, some of them were good, but overall there was a lot where there's too much movement or the lighting's not very good. So it wasn't always very easy. And in fact, on this second dinosaur, the reference was a little bit blurry as well. So I kind of had to fill it in a little bit. And whilst this isn't a tutorial, just some tips that I've picked up whilst drawing these are that the eye is obviously quite set back in the skull. So to give that impression, you do have to add a little bit of shading around that eye hole. So you can almost see the, the circle, the gap that would be in the skull. That's sort of shaped into this outer layer. So I'm just using scratchy pencil marks for my shading style. Some people prefer to block that in. But yeah, making that darker obviously gives an impression that it's set back a little bit more. Don't overdo it, but play around. With the teeth, you need to make sure they're a little bit random. I am working from reference, as mentioned, but it's really easy to fall into the trap of making them a little bit too uniform, making them all in an order. And that's when it ends up looking a little bit silly, or maybe like something a kid would draw. That being said, I am by no means saying that I am the best at drawing dinosaurs but I did think these turned out pretty cool overall. And this second dinosaur I thought was quite a cool design anyway that they used. I don't know how realistic it would have been to have all these spikes and things all over, I don't know, but it looked cool, so I kept them in there. Now, one of the more difficult things in my opinion or pain in the butt things to draw on dinosaurs are the scales. Assuming you're drawing a scaly dinosaur, I haven't given it a go drawing a feathered one yet, but that'd be pretty cool, but probably just as difficult. But yeah, they've got a lot of scales on them, these ones. And it's quite difficult because I didn't want to leave off the scales because it looked a little bit boring. It was lacking any detail. But when you started putting some scales on, especially the more visible ones around the mouth, it then looked empty and like it was missing some all over. So what I tried to do was 
sort of blocking the main ones along the mouth and the lips and some bigger ones on the reference, such as above the eye and along the top of the head. And then I very faintly just blocked in a few, you can see along that bottom jaw. So they are a pain drawing by hand like this, but you don't have to draw them all. Just get a few in in the right places and keep them quite faint. And it just gives more a bit of an illusion of detail. I will also say though that I did kind of regret drawing the necks on these. I think they looked pretty good with the necks. I think it looked much better than just drawing the head, but it did seem to add quite a lot of work on. And again, the reference isn't that easy to work from. It's hard to sort of know the information of what's on the neck. Some of it is a little bit of guesswork and isn't overly detailed, but I wasn't planning on doing too much detail on these anyway. So overall, I was really impressed with the way they came out. And another quick tip that really brings it to life a little bit more is adding in a highlight on the eye. But you do need to remember not to go overboard with this, but you can see on each one that I've drawn, I've just put a little bit of a white highlight in. I was really tempted to go grayscale with this or even add a little bit of colour, but I always mess up my sketches when I do that. But I could maybe come back to that in the future. So with this third dinosaur, this is a raptor or a velociraptor, I think. Now I'm using blue as reference from the movies. I'm going to start by saying it looks extremely rude at this stage. That was not intentional. It's pretty damn funny, but please bear with me. Once I've got some face detail in, it does start looking more like a dinosaur than anything else. I think this image is actually quite a well-known one that comes up quite a lot. So you might have even seen it online. You might recognize it. And you can see I start each design quite rough. And sometimes because I'm working digitally, I can grab it and sort of stretch it out and change the shape a little bit. So that was really helpful. If I was drawing these traditionally, they would not turn out very well at all. I'm not a very good traditional artist. And I'm working my way through, keeping it quite blocky to start. So I've got quite a lot of hard edges as well. And then as I progress, I just start rounding off some of these corners where appropriate and adding in more detail. I was pretty bored of drawing scales already by the time I was on the Raptor, but I ended up drawing a lot more scales on this one than the other ones. I wouldn't advise doing that because it's a pain in the butt but it did end up looking probably the best out of the three by far. So it paid off a little bit. Definitely the best dinosaur I've drawn. And another thing you can do to make your dinosaur drawings a little bit better that I picked up on is to actually create the illusion of form using the scales. And what I mean by that is yes, they are random shapes. They go all over, it's difficult to judge, but in certain areas you can actually see them wrapping around the form and using perspective. So an example on this third one would be the bit that's above the eye, sort of between the eye and the nose, but just a little bit further up, and the bit directly above the eye. So you can see how I've used them to create the illusion of like a 3D form, the way that they make up the different planes and wrap around the surface. And I'm going in just quite subtly with my shading, keeping it quite gentle, I can always go over it, and then going in and just lightly adding some scales. I also tried to thicken the outline of it a little bit, just on the areas where it would be shaded. And of course, don't forget to go in and add those highlight details. I wasn't really 100% happy with the eye on this one compared to the others. And last of all, I tried to add that little pattern on the back or on the neck. So for those of you that are familiar with the Jurassic World movies, you will have seen this on blue. Obviously I'm doing this in black and white, so it's pretty difficult to know that though, and quite subtle. From memory, I think that first one, the T-Rex, took about half an hour, maybe a little bit over. And I think the second and third one took closer to an hour each. I think I neatened them up a touch off camera, but nothing drastic. Just adjusting the proportions a little bit. But there they are, that's them all finished. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found these difficult, but I actually really enjoyed making them. Definitely leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and if you want to see more videos, tutorials, tips, anything like that on drawing dinosaurs. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys want to see. And don't forget if you did enjoy the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and switch notifications on. And as mentioned, you can see these in more detail over on my social media pages. I might add colour to these in the future, so definitely check that out. But that's it guys, so thank you for watching.